Can you deal with What's that? up, bros and hoes? What are Float you go? It's your boy, Relentless, bringing you yet another Division Build video. I hope you all are just having a fantastic day. I know I am just been tearing it up in the DZ and in all PVE missions, just having a tons of fun during this global event ambush. Just grinding away, getting all those GE credits, and having a lot of fun, whether it be in the DZ or the LS. And this build makes it quite easy to do both, but I'll go ahead and tell you that if you PvP with this build, you're probably going to get a lot of hate mail because for some reason, people just hate dying to this build in the Dark Zone. I'll never understand it, you know, but yeah, I guess it is what it is. But without further ado, let's hop right into it. As you can see, it's the D3 FNC build and how to acquire the 4,000 firearms in the 9k stamina and the 9k stamina you have to have to unlock all the talents on all the gear and to achieve at least a minimum to 125 to 130k skill power then you want skill power on your backpack your mask and your knee pads you can go with crit chance on your holster if you choose or if you want to be a little bit more tanky then you can throw in that little bit of uh, 8,000 percent health um, and also if you're low in skill power or you're trying to acquire the better pieces and like I am I'm trying to uh, acquire better ones myself for the D3 um, and let's say by some chance you have to roll two things and you're unable to roll skill power on your backpack mask or your knee pads on one of those then you can substitute out uh, and increase the health of your shield with 7% damage uh, health mods for your shield you can find them in any safe house or I believe it's in uh, DZ9 checkpoint east or also you can go with the 5% damage resistance mods or damage resilience mods uh, also you can find them it'll increase the damage resilience of your shield so that way if you can't achieve the appropriate skill power then that is an easy way to counter uh, also, if you want to, like I have, a mixture of both plus the 126k uh, skill power, then it makes your shield pretty much god awful tanky and it makes a lot of people rage. But let's hop into the weaponry. As you can see, I have Vicious Deadly and the card counter. I'm using the house. And I'm, before anybody says anything, and enough of the trolling comments, I know that there are better talents than Vicious, but in this case with D3 FNC, it kind of works out really well. Just for the simple fact, you're going to be above two health segments or above, especially on PVE situations. So therefore, 90% of the time, you're going to get this 10% crit chance. And then accompanied with deadly, and then you know it's a one-two punch. You get your crit chance and crit damage. And on the magazine, I have magazine size, crit chance, and rate of fire, which you can substitute rate of fire for crit damage if you so choose. 18% uh, in my optics with 3% crit chance and my muzzle crit damage crit chance and stability and my under barrel crit damage reload speed and stability there now let's move on to the gear starting with the backpack like I said you want in the major attributes a skill power and this is the only piece that I have rolled to firearms so that way I can achieve the 4k uh, firearms here and still have the 9k in stamina so therefore you're putting out still damage and along with the buffs you're going to pretty much melt those little nomads and make them proc their nine lives in a matter of moments and it's a good distraction in any group uh, run in the 4v squads in the DB DZ um, you pretty much paint yourself as a target but you know some people pay you know mine but then you know you get noobs that try to face tank you and that's not going to work and then when you come against predators mark they can't bleed your shield so basically all you got to do is learn how to maneuver and not allow anybody behind you keep everything in front of you and you'll be just fine and the minor attributes you want ammo capacity and then the mod slots I have stamina and health with ballistic shield damage resilience and a 7% ballistic shield health mod. In the gloves, you want the trifecta, SMG damage, crit hit chance, and crit hit damage. Uh, also rolled with stamina, and I have 968 on the armor, and none of these pieces have been optimized. Good stats across the board in my holster, crappy armor roll. And like I said before, I had to re-roll the two main stats in this holster, and therefore I couldn't re-roll the major attributes to crit chance 
so I got stuff with the 8,123 health and in the mod slot we have a 5% ballistic shield damage resilience knee pads you want skill power in your majors and have it rolled to stamina the minors it doesn't really matter uh, damage to elites works for PBE and then the burn resistance bleed resistance anything you can stack on comes in handy and in the mod slots want stamina and health and in this case I have another 7% ballistic shield health and the mask rolled to stamina skill power in the major minor I have blind death resistance and in the mod slot we have stamina and health moving on to the chest piece I have in the majors 14 375 and health uh, you can substitute all resist for EDR if you per prefer it there in my minors I was unable to have ammo capacity on it but once I find better pieces I will definitely be upgrading it and you would want ammo capacity in your minors if you can uh, health and then whether it be all resist or EDR it comes in handy than just having a measly four to five percent health on a kill and then the mod slots stamina and health and stamina and skill power so basically a seven percent uh, health mod will give you around 35,000 health on your shield you start out with 25 percent damage resilience on your shield uh, and each of these will give you 5% extra as you'll see on my shield it's 2.42 million 10% damage increase and I'm at 35% damage resistance so you're going to get a longer life out of your shield you can put in four 7% ballistic shield health mods each one is worth 35,000 so roughly around 120k health additional to your shield or you can put in four different or four of the same 5% ballistic shield resi resistance or resilience so that way it'll increase your damage resistance uh, when those all you get all those buffs and as it states equipments equips a portable ballistic shield that absorbs damage the user can only use their sidearm with the shield is active but in this case you're able to use an SMG uh, I think we all know how the D3 FNC works but if you don't uh, instead of having to use a sidearm if you have all six pieces then you're able to use uh, an SMG it works out really well uh, boost your damage resistance uh, if you have them if not like I said go to the DZ I believe 9 East to get those 7% uh, ballistic shield health mods or I believe it's in a safe house where they have those 5% damage uh, resilience mods so you can go with like I have two of each or all four of each or mix and match how you see fit in this case I just went with two and two and uh, it's been working out really well for me and I have gameplay at the end to demonstrate but let's go over a quick review you want skill power on your backpack mask and knee pads and then I actually have one mod that stamina and skill power that puts me at 126.9k skill power and then you want four things rolled to stamina and only one in firearms so that way you can still achieve over 4k in firearms over 9k in stamina and still have great skill power so if you're looking to do a d3 fnc build uh just a rough go about this is how i got mine it's a lot of fun and as you'll see in the video coming up it wrecks and it's a lot of fun getting the hate mail from people and telling you that you have no skills when using this build it's just complete hilarious but i hope you enjoyed it and we'll send you over some gameplay we'll i'm on mess with us i'm gonna throw up break out the old d3 everybody hates it bye Bitch!
Y'all squishy. Got you too, bitch. Got you. Uh, don't be running. 